Okay, yeah, the album was recorded uh, by Neil Gray. Um, essentially, it was just me and Pete Marin, gu guitar and drums. We dropped them down live, and um, we just started adding to it and adding to it. And, um, and I played most of the bass, and then I put a few licks on, and then it was time to, uh, you know, get a few guests involved. But we had Gina Woods, of course, play uh, some organ and piano. Uh, Ken Evil dropped the double bass on a few songs, and um, Emma Donovan come in did a really nice kind of soul style vocal harmonies for me, and um, Garrett Costigan, of course, come in and played pedal steel on three songs, which uh, helps a lot. And um, it started off kind of small and just got bigger and bigger and uh, more complicated, but here we are. What I'd say the stompy, uh, stompy in the heat sound would be a, like a 60s inspired uh, collection of rock and roll bluesy tunes. There's some fuzz in there, there's some kind of surf kind of sounds in there. And uh, you know, it's like songs about zombies and songs about Mongolian warriors and songs about aliens and you know, all the regular stuff. Alien Death Ray, well, that's an instrumental that uh, me and Pete cooked up in his uh, in his little bungalow. We were, we were just messing with a uh, like a real psychotic kind of surf surf instrumental, and um, I decided to put it first on the album. A lot of people said you can't do that. You know, you can't put an instrumental on first. But I thought it was a really good um, kind of declaration of what we were uh, what we're intending with the album. It kind of it come out it, it comes out swinging punches straight away yeah thanks to you started with uh that um that's a tremolo pedal uh cutting really hard and then playing along using the tremolo cut as uh as the timing of the song so everyone has to fall in line with the timing of that uh then the you know throwing this it's essentially a blues song the way i see it it's a, you know kind of bow diddly beat with the slide guitar uh, and the, you know it's a tale of um, kind of self abuse and a, and a kind of a, a really bad relationship and um, playing the blame game and uh, yeah it's a general tale of woe and misery but you know it's not all it's not all that grim it's kind of it's a good fun song too I reckon Black Lightning uh, the song's kind of um, basically what it's about is is uh, kind of the end of the summer of love when everything you know the hippie vibes come and gone and then you know around 1969 and Charles Manson and his mob and the moon landing and Altamont and all that type of thing and I thought well Altamont you ever you know see footage of that it looks like it's it's a kind of evil bad vibe kind of happening and that kind of inspired me to think you know if the devil actually turned up proper you know and uh, kind of enslaved everyone and you know, did it officially, so that's what I, you know, that's what I was thinking with that song. Yeah, Here Comes Stompy is, um, it's one of the, it's like a, you know, in the tradition of, um, the kind of bragging songs, like, you know, I'm the baddest dude around and... You know, I got a I got a black cat bone and all that. It's probably a bit more comical and a bit more fun than just kind of straight out kind of uh, bragging. But um, you know, Stompy struts into town and he's pretty confident. He's just a he's a fictional character, I suppose. And then uh, I suppose it's a real good chance for me to kind of uh, get the fuzz pedal going hard too and just um, kind of let loose. And yeah, you know, that that's as probably as uh, as mental as the guitar playing gets on the whole album, I reckon. Oh, I'm a, you know, I'm a zombie fan too. I really like uh, the old George A. Romero films and um, some of the more modern ones too. I'm, I'm a sucker for zombies. I, I don't reckon I like them personally and you know, that's what the song's about. It's kind of, uh, if you can actually say that to a zombie, you know, it says, says uh, you don't know how to get along and you don't know right from wrong and you don't belong in the world anymore. It's... Uh, it's kind of, I think it's funny to kind of uh, impose moral judgments on a zombie, but because as it says, you know, I've got no time for the undead because they want to mess with my head. That's a big kind of fuzz tone, kind of, it's a bit of a dirge really because it, um, 
you know, there's not there's not really any changes in it. It just kind of, uh, you know, it just struts along probably like a like an actual zombie would. You know, I don't think there's I don't think a, a zombie, um, you know, himself would have many uh, changes. So <laughs> it's probably uh, it's probably an apt soundtrack to a zombie walking along. You know, uh, your affections is. Um, Probably a, probably the nicest song on the album. It's um, I'd call it a, like a sweet blues song. Has some uh, some very nice. Um, all the guests are on that one. We've got Ken Evil slapping the double bass, and um, Gina Woods uh, plays some nice honky tonk piano on it. And uh, the great Garrett Costigan gets the uh, work in the pedal steel. So that's a hoot. That one. I, uh, I'm very proud of that song. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. In Battling, we're talking about, uh, you know, Genghis Khan kind of era, and uh, maybe not Genghis himself, but you know, one of his, one of one of his one of his lads, who's thinking it must be a lot better over the other side in China. He's, he's, he's heard about it, that, you know. He's thinking there's got some nice-looking women over there, or some better food than he's um, than he's getting, and he's got aspirations, the boy, because he thinks maybe I can be the king if I get over there. And now, uh, Battling itself is a uh, is a is an actual town in China, where you can uh, where I've been once or twice, and uh, you can get on the Great Wall and imagine those kind of hordes of Mongolians, and you think, wow, it's a pretty good fence, you know. When you when you see it in the flesh, it's uh, it's pretty serious. <laughs> yeah, don't tell me, a bit of a Stonesy vibe. Um, we got uh, Emma Donovan, a great. Uh, indigenous singer in there and she really helps it come along she uh, she gets she got that song really fired up and uh, that was where the uh, I got that old Ibanez going in that song and um, yeah nice kind of bouncy vibe and uh, a little bit on the stonesy side I reckon yeah honky tonk nighttime man is a uh, a Merle Haggard song and I always like the way that uh, you know, the Honky Tonk Nighttime Man, he doesn't come out uh, during the day. He waits till night and then his heart starts beating and then he uh, he's like a vampire kind of dude. Yeah, M apparently Merle wrote that for uh, wrote that for Leonard Skinner, but I, we did it in a bit of a bit of a tough kind of way with like a motorhead sound when I started it, but then, um, you know, the double bass come in and, uh, you know, the, all the other instruments kind of brought it back into more of a country feel. That's the only cover of the album and... Uh, I don't mind Merle Haggard, he's cool. The Last Wave is probably the only spot I could put a song like that. I mean, you know, this, the album's pretty rowdy and then you've got to kind of uh, come down at the end with a nice slow instrumental. I wrote that kind of in honour of, uh, you know, of, the, of surfing friends of mine. I don't surf myself. That's not going to happen. But um, I was thinking it, it, it's kind of a funeral song for a surfer. So... Uh, I just wanted to write a bit of a tribute to uh, all the uh, the fallen surfers. All right, if you want to know more about Stompy the Heat, uh, check the website stompytheheat.com, and uh, our uh, the albums available at all good record stores, or you can download it on iTunes. We'll be doing our album launch on the 12th of January at the Tote Hotel in Collingwood. Uh, we got the exotics with us, and we got Richie 1250 and the Brides of Christ. Hope to see you there.